Alright, so I'm ready to fire this thing up. I'm just going to show actually the two power options that I have. First one is running off the 9 volt, the 22 ohm resistor, and the 9 volt battery snap and battery. And the second one is the, where did I put it? There it is, 1K resistor with the JST style plug and my radio controlled. I um, mean radio con uh, controlled airplanes battery, three cell, 11.1 volt battery. It'll pump out almost 22 amps for a short amount of time. And so yeah, those are the two power options that I have. So yeah, I'm just going to plug in the battery. And sh this is number one. Oh, as you can see, it immediately wants to pick up if you leave it in the correct position. Hold on. I'm going to leave it in the wrong position for now just to start it up. And then just a little push. Just give it a little tiny tap. There, oops. There we go. And there you go. The LED is blinking too fast for the camera to pick it up. There you have it, it runs. I'm going to unplug it. Now we're going to try the 12 volt option. So, what I'm going to do here is just basically unplug that 22 ohm resistor and replace it for a 1K ohm resistor. There we go. Oops, plug that in the wrong spot. There we go. Now it's good. And then I'm going to take the JST plug. And for now, I'm just going to plug this into the wrong slot here, right here. Just so it's not connected yet. Spin the armature to the correct position. And plug in the battery. Hold on. There we go. Sorry about that. Anyway, and so now when I connect power to the circuit, it's going to just start spinning. There we go. have it. That's going a lot faster. The LED's not even blinking anymore. There you go. Position of the read switch where I left it's right about there and you can press into the coil. And there. It runs. So, good luck making your motor. And yeah.